With everyone waiting and expecting a long wait, it actually took the jury less than two hours to find Kimberly Trenner guilty of murdering her two-year-old daughter, Riley Ann Sawyers. We, the jury, find the defendant, Kimberly Don Trenner, also known as Kimberly Don Ziegler, guilty of capital murder. With nearly everyone in the courtroom, even the bailiff, in tears, Kimberly Trenner said as she has throughout the trial without showing any emotion as she was found guilty of murdering her daughter. I'm not necessarily for sure that she didn't know what was going to happen and was willing to accept that a long time ago. It's an emotional trial. And because of the victim, you know, the victim was a two-year-old child. And that was hard to set aside and, and simply stick to the facts, but I, I think we did that. According to prosecutors, Trenner and her husband, Roy Sigler II, beat and tortured the two-year-old as a form of discipline. A fisherman found the baby's body in Galveston Bay in October 2007. Detectives called the little one Baby Grace. It became a case investigators just couldn't leave at the office. In the very beginning, we didn't know who she was. Now we do, and now we can never forget her. We made a promise that day at the, med at the medical examiner's office that we will find the people who was responsible for her death and we would bring them to justice. And that's exactly what we did. Trenner was living in Ohio with her daughter's paternal grandmother, Cheryl Sawyers, who left the courthouse too emotional to speak. Two months before Riley Ann was killed, Trenner moved to Texas and married a man she met on the Internet. I, I think for Cheryl it's difficult. She looked at Kimberly as a daughter, and she found it absolutely incomprehensible that uh, Kimberly would be responsible in something like this. Trenner's father also left without speaking to the media, but plenty of people did talk, giving a voice and a victory to a toddler who couldn't do it on her own. Justice has been served today, and we look forward to presenting the next case when that day comes. The prosecution is now shifting its focus to its next murder trial, that of Royce Ziegler II. A date still hasn't been set yet. In Galveston, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.